The plan is simple. I'm making art for all 890 Pokemon. The order is mostly random, and I'm creating with various mediums. Hi everyone, and welcome back to today's video. We are fast approaching 50 Pokemon completed. Uh, for number 49, I am making Haunter because I am feeling the autumn spirit. I am excited for Halloween. Um, so I hope you guys like this one. Um, he was kind of hard to make because his body shape doesn't make any sense. Like, he's not like the little ghosts that you would draw as a kid growing up that kind of look like a, a little round ball with a sheet over it. Um, it's just a very unusual shape to make, so I spent a lot of time agonizing over how to cut out the body. <laughs> oh, come to think of it, I'm not proud of how this one turned out. Um, it's not my best work. I if you've been watching for a while, I feel the same way about my Charmander as I feel about this Haunter, but that is okay. I do not hide my art. I share it, good or bad or mediocre, it is here. It is here for you to watch. Um, yeah, so once I've had this one completed, I will have made Ghastly, Haunter, and a Gengar. For C Mega Gengar, but still, all three in the evolutionary chain, which is pretty cool. I don't think I've done very much of that until deciding to do ghost types, because I have Phantump and Trevenant done as well. Um, so that'll be really cool, especially when I rearrange my journal and have all of the Pokemon in Pokédex order, so I'll get to see all of them. Uh, so I'm using this lighter color purple to uh, capture some of the different colors that you see on his forehead. And they're kind of on his spikes as well. Uh, the bottom spike is a little bit light purple, as well as the spike just below the kind of like ear spikes, I guess you could call them. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but it's starting to get chilly where I live. It's officially autumn. I, I'm i glad I do just voiceover and I don't come on camera because I'm sitting in my fuzzy pajamas and my fuzzy bathrobe. I'm all curled up. I have 32 ounces of hot tea with me and honey, and I am just living the good life. <laughs> I hope you guys are too. I've thought about doing camera. I might, after 50, I might, uh, as I reach the milestones, I feel more like I should show my face and go, oh, hi, yeah, I've made all these, but I'm, I'm a little shy, so maybe not. Uh, yes, yeah, so now I am tracing out the eyes, or at least attempting to do the eyes. Oh, they don't look right. No, no, no. Uh, I end up using a hole punch to make them, which is eyes are more triangular, but uh, I didn't know what to do, <laughs> so I made, I made these circular eyes. And I actually, I got frustrated and I walked away for like a couple days, and then I came back to keep working on it. Yeah, you can see my sleeves have changed, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the first mouth I thought I cut out too small, so I went and traced out a bigger one. It is nice so that I do have a dedicated filming space so I can walk away for a couple days and I don't have to clean it up, I can leave it all out. Um, it is getting a little messy in the studio though, so I should probably clean that up today. And as you can see, I have not glued down anything yet because I, I am feeling so apprehensive about this haunter. Um, eventually I'm just like, well, it is what it is. It's time to just glue it all down. <laughs> uh, but like I said, it's a weird shaped Pokemon. I, I don't think I could have made it any more accurate or better without just spending like three, four hours on it. Which I'll never get the Pokédex done if I spend that much time for Pokémon. I can't do that. I am a girl on a mission. I 
I do like what I ended up doing with the hands though. The hands look really cool for this one. And the background is pretty nice as well. If there are any Pokemon that you would like to see, please request it. Uh, I only ask that each person has one active request at a time. But you are allowed to request more than once. Uh, so now I am doing the hands. Same color as the body paper. Since October I'm focusing on ghost types, I'm thinking for November maybe rock type? You know, solidifying yourself for winter? I think that's a decent idea. I, and the color schemes are still... There's a lot of grays and browns for rock type that will go really nicely with some of my autumn papers, so I'm starting to think about what rock types I would like to do. I don't think I've made a single rock type so far. Almost 50 Pokemon in. And I haven't bothered. <laughs> Unless one of the grass types was also rock type. Because I love grass types. You know I've made plenty of grass types. Uh, so for this background paper, uh, I have these nice little candles that I thought would be cool. And I used some gray shiny washi tape to tape it down and I had to glue him not quite in the center of the paper because I needed to show off all the candles I didn't want to block any and then I used this washi tape with phrases to cut out spooky to put uh, right below his hand. And finally, to make the hands pop off the page, I used some little puffy stickers to give it some extra dimension. And yeah, that's my slightly not accurate haunter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you again soon. Bye!